What's up guys, this is Forest Knight and I decided to take on the 100 Days of Code Challenge where basically I have to code at least one hour per day every day for 100 days straight. Now there are a few rules and caveats to this and I'll give a link to the Medium post where I found it on down in the description box below. But some of the rules is you have to do it all straight but they allow you know uh, you to miss one day every two weeks you know because life happens certain things important things come up and that's the only time you can miss something is something important comes up but definitely don't miss two days in a row and if you do miss any days you have to add that on to the end so you say you have 100 days and you miss 10 days in between that span we'll add 10 more days at the end of that 100 days okay so that's one of those the main rules that's the main challenge another one is you have to work you know you have to code one hour per day on your own projects and they prefer you code all that so you're not doing work and you're not doing school and of course I'm not going to count those in but they also say don't count tutorials and things like that but for me in my stage I'm going to be counting my tutorials so anytime I'm doing iOS development whether it's me taking the course or doing you know because whenever I take the course I don't just watch the video I'm watching the video while doing everything that's in going on in the video on my MacBook, which is right here. I watch it on there and, and do all my coding and stuff right there. So that's gonna be, you know, until like next month once I'm done with all this uh, course stuff, then that's what I'll be doing for the, you know, one hour plus every day. And if you're wondering what course I'm talking about, I'll, it's a Udemy course, I'll link it down in the description box below just in case you're curious. So my plan is to do this at least one hour every single day, right? But I've also noticed with IDev Journey and whatnot, when I kind of regurgitate the information that I've learned that previous week, it helps me retain it and learn it even more. So what I'm gonna do is say I code for two hours. Right after that two hours, I'm gonna say, talk about what I just learned to the camera. And I'm gonna upload those videos on YouTube for the first, I don't know, couple weeks maybe month and see how people react and how people like it. I think a lot of people like it. It'll probably only be like a two to three minute talking head video. Maybe if I have more time by talking, hold on, by talking head, I mean like this. I don't have anything coming up on the screen or anything like that. No, no video game gameplay, no Xcode, no computer screens coming up on, on this. It's just me, my head talking. But what I was thinking is if I have a little bit more time then I may kind of show off the code that I wrote that day or something of that nature. I don't know. I'll get a little bit more creative. Now, this isn't going to replace iDev Journey. That's still going to be the full fledged iDev Journey. But this is something where I can take, you know, two minutes out after a two hour session and just kind of regurgitate some of the main points, help me learn a little bit more. And I think, I think uh, a lot of people will enjoy following that journey as well, kind of getting an, a day to day update. One, maybe it'll help them learn a little bit, but also, it'll help them be motivated because if you see me post every day then you're like all right you know i gotta do it every day too and i encourage everyone to go ahead and check out that post after this video and you know really check it out and start that challenge today or tomorrow so as soon as possible and stick with it and what i've read the main place that this community is really getting together is on twitter under the hashtag 100 days of code so I've decided I'm going to be making a Twitter because I don't have one now. It'll just be my name. I'll link it down in the description box below. And on that, it'll really just be me talking about 100 Days of Code and, and iDev Journey. It just, it'll kind of be another venue for people to find my YouTube channel, but it'll, it'll really be me updating day to day on 100 Days of Code as well. Maybe a short little description and maybe a link to the YouTube video with the hashtag 100 Days of Code. So, I can help grow this community and I can be a part of that community at the same time. You see, I think I think it's a really cool community. A lot of people, you know, doing 100 days of code, whether all those, I mean, not all of those people are going to be doing iOS development, but, you know, they're going to be coding. They're in the same, you know, software development sphere. So it's a really cool community that I wish to partake in. So I'm going to build that Twitter. So be sure to follow me there, you know, subscribe to this channel so you can be sure to, you know, stay up to date with all my videos, but especially 100 Days of Code, since that's a video you're watching right now. And like I said before, be sure to check out that post and start your 100 Days of Code now, basically, because I guarantee you at the end of this 100 days, you'll be a whole lot better because it's a lot easier to learn if you do something every day. If you do something every three days, like say you code twice a week, you have to take like 30 minutes to really get back in the groove that you were in three days ago and remember what you're doing. If you do it every day, you, you don't waste that time. 
So I recommend you go ahead and start this challenge now. I hope you follow me on Twitter because if you're doing 100 Days of Code, I'll follow you back. Be sure to subscribe. If you like this challenge or this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out. And until next time, have a good one.